Aloha, beautiful souls. Now, in this Pick a Card Tarot reading, we're going to find out what area of life will you have good luck or fortune soon. Ooh, so exciting. I can't wait to welcome these energies in for you all with this reading today. So, you have three options. The first is lavender. The second is the sickle. And the third option is ragwort. So go ahead and close your eyes, take a few deep breaths in and out, and call in your guides, your guardians, your higher self source to find out what area of life will you have good luck and fortune in soon. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes and pick which card is calling to you. Timestamps are below to go to your reading. I'll see you there. Hey there, Star Fam! Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and today we are going to find out what area of life will you have good luck and fortune soon. So for those of you that were drawn to Lavender, let me know who you are down in the comments below and let me know who your favorite singer is right now. Um, right now, I'm kind of feeling like Beyonce energy because I know at the time of recording this video, she has a new album coming out soon, which has been a while that we've heard from her. So let me know who your favorite artist is in the comments down below. So I am going to pull out an astro star card star code card here that is going to reveal which house so which area of life you will soon have good luck and fortune oh <laughs> that really did not go so well <laughs> okay it's really hard to do a good shuffle when there's only 12 houses here so let's just go ahead and find out which area of life so this is the ninth house, the house of exploration. So this house has to do with um, learning some really powerful lessons in life, learning new philosophies. This has to do with tapping into your passions, okay? So you'll definitely have some good luck and fortune in whichever you are passionate about, whichever fuels your spirit. This is also the house of travel, okay? So for some of you that have a trip coming up, um, some type of vacation, or maybe for some of you that are moving for work or career or family, whatever reason, there is going to be good luck and fortune throughout this process here for you. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Who doesn't love some good luck when they're traveling and some good fortune when you're traveling? So let's get some more information here with the tarot about what is going on with this good luck, this good fortune. Let's see if we can get additional details on what this good fortune and this good luck might actually look like or how it's going to manifest. So let's see. We have nine of coins. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We have the queen of swords. We have the six of swords. Okay, this is supporting that travel. Okay, travel and movement. Um, for those of you that chose this card and you maybe don't have any travel plans or plans to move, this could even actually be speaking about um, movement within your passion. Okay, I'm also hearing for some of you um, that your passion is your job and your livelihood, like how you make money. There's going to be some movement there as well. Some movements some growth, some expansion. We have the Nine of Swords, the Moon, the Hierophant, and we're going to do one more card. So let's kind of scoot these over and make space for the Seventh card. Lucky number seven. <laughs> and eight of wands. Okay, so definitely for um, the majority of you, this has to do with travel or some type of 
physical movement, relocation. Um, the reason why I say job is maybe some of you are like moving offices, moving departments, your your desk could even be moving to a new spot, right? Um, changing positions. So it could even be some sort of like metaphorical move, if you will. Okay. But again, for a lot of you, this could definitely um, have to do with some type of upcoming trip, vacation, or travel plans because we have the Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords. The Swords. <laughs> um, the Six of Swords, both showing up in your reading. So both of these are definitely speaking to movement and travel. And it's also speaking to proximity. So very, very soon. I know I already said that in the title, but I would say for you, my Lavender crew, and this is going to probably happen a lot sooner for you than maybe some of than the other two cards, the other two readings. So let's go a little bit deeper here. What's so great with this nine of coins is what I'm sensing for you is with this move, with this travel plan, you are going to have the opportunity to either make a lot of money. OK, especially for those of you that are moving for work um, or in a career related field. OK. And for some of you too, this can speak to like saving. So you're going to get like a really good deal. Maybe some of you, if you haven't booked a hotel yet or some type of lodging, maybe if you've planned to travel in a couple months, but you're still waiting for the, the airplane tickets to be a good price before you purchase, this is going, this card here is suggesting that, yeah, you're going to get an amazing deal. And while you're there as well, maybe while you're shopping, maybe some of you are going to go on some kind of excursion or guided tour or something, you're also going to get a really good deal on it. So the price you're going to have to pay for something is going to be at a, a nice sale price or a nice discount of what it normally is. So you can use the extra money for something else. Maybe you can buy more souvenirs. Maybe you can um, treat yourself to a really nice meal. So there's an opportunity here for like abundance in some way, shape or form. All right. Now, what I'm seeing here as well is there are some of you that might be a little bit anxious about traveling, a little bit anxious about changing jobs or changing positions. And really there there's nothing to worry about because we have the Queen of Swords here and the Hierophant, okay? So what are the Queen of Swords and the Hierophant doing for you with this good luck and this good fortune? So the Queen of Swords is a very fierce defender, okay? The Queen of Swords knows how to um, speak the truth and see the truth. All right. The Queen of Swords does not tolerate any type of trickery, any type of lies, any type of deceit. And so you are protected in that way. Like no one is trying to run a game on you. No one is trying to scam you or trick you here with this good luck or this good fortune. Because what I'm hearing is some of you are like, oh, this just seems too good to be true. What's the catch? Okay. Have you ever had that kind of thought before when something um, good happens? You have good luck, good fortune. Um, you started to question, like, why is this here? How did this happen? Um, and the Queen of Swords is saying, don't worry, I'm protecting you. I got your back. I'm, um, you know, blocking the path for um, cheaters, liars, deceivers um, from entering this area of good luck and fortune. And here with the Hierophant, what I'm getting is that this is um, a situation in which you were divinely guided to by others. Okay, so the Hierophant is the person that can hear the messages of God, hear the messages of source and the calling um, to action and to complete a task by the higher powers, okay, to help somebody. In this case, it's going to be you, okay, to help you out. So, Maybe this could be like a big break. What I'm hearing for some of you, if this has to do with your passion, which is also your career, especially in the creative arts, okay? That this could be your big break, that someone is going to catch, you're going to catch someone's eye who's going to be a big, um, uh, what is the, not philanthropist, but then not quite an investor, but um, someone who supports your work, okay? Someone who 
like maybe will help you get gigs, promote your work for you. Um, and help you um, get a record deal, help you get some kind of contract, like a long-term contract. Sorry, I'm still stuck on that word of what this person is that like supports you. Um, not a f like a sponsor, although that's not even the word either. But anyways, hopefully you get the idea of what I'm trying to say, that there is someone that's going to be a part of this picture that's going to help sponsor you and support you. Um, you might, for those of you that are traveling, you might even meet somebody like a local who's going to give you some really excellent recommendations on places to go, you know, um, like those best kept secrets by the locals. I know they have that a lot in like beach towns, you know, where it's like, oh yeah, you you might want to go to that touristy beach, but it's always super crowded. But there's this really um, cool spot that's quiet. It's free of the crowds um, that only the locals know. So I'll tell you about it. Okay. Um, so it could be something like that. Like you get some kind of awesome tip at a good value as well. Now, with the moon card here, um, definitely I'm sensing this energy of tranquility that's trying to come in, this energy of peace, which is why I was saying you can trust it because this nine of swords is your own anxieties and fears. And this tranquility and peace that's coming in with the moon card is more your higher self, your divine essence. This moon also speaks to your subconscious. Okay, so this is your subconscious is also in the background, helping things manifest into your life and your subconscious, which is has a more direct connection with your higher self than your conscious mind does. Um, it helped orchestrate this good fortune, this good luck in this area of your life. So you can trust it. All right. So let's get a message here. Okay, we got oh. We got this card that wanted to pop out already so fast. This final message with this feather, this divine feather from the peacock. It says, inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. Ooh, so there's more to this picture than just simply traveling, changing occupations, um, getting a big break with your passion projects and passion careers and things like that. There is something else powerful that you are going to be learning here that's really going to change your life in very surprising ways. So there you go. That is your reading for what area of life will you have good luck and fortune in soon. Thank you for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Don't forget to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today so that you can begin that manifestation pathway for it to become a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel. Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation if you want to go beyond a general tarot reading, specifically if you want to learn how to align with your purpose and how to achieve your goals. So if you go to the description box down below now, you will see a link there to book an energy alignment session with me. And on that call, we will both come up with a personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. So I look forward to connecting with you in your energy alignment session. But until next time, loves sending you so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye. Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. <laughs> and today we're going to find out what area of life will you have good luck and fortune in very, very soon here. So for those of you that were drawn to this sickle card here, let me know who you are in the comments down below. And also let me know who your favorite musical artist is right now. So right now I'm really excited and feeling Beyonce because Beyonce is about to release a new album and it's been years since she released her last album. So that's what's going on in the time I'm recording this video is Beyonce will be releasing a new album soon. So excited to hear that. Now let's find out together what 
area of life are you going to have that good luck and that fortune in? And this was a much better way to shuffle these cards. I was shuffling it this way in the first reading and it was like not even working out so well. <laughs> so let's find out which house, which area of life you're going to be experiencing this good luck and this fortune in very soon. Okay. So we have for you the fourth house, which is home. Oh, how beautiful is this? So the fourth house, yes, it speaks to literally like your home home. So your house, your apartment, your condo, your villa, <laughs> um, your studio apartment, whatever that may be. But it can also be expanded to where you consider your home, like where your heart is. So your family, your close circle of friends. Um, for some people, it's like your, um, your, your, your crew, if you will. Okay. Like maybe it could be if you're an artist, like your bandmates. Okay. Maybe for those of you that are in like a startup company, your family is really like your, your small network of coworkers. So it would be like, you know, six people, seven people, uh, around that. So not super large, like, so not like an organization or a team or a company, but something a little bit more intimate. So you're going to experience good luck and good fortune there. Um, and what I'm also experiencing or experiencing <laughs> the sensing is that you are going to experience some level of comfort and security in an area of your life that you've been really worried about, okay? Why do I say that? It's because home is the place that you feel the safest. It's the place that you feel the most comfortable, okay? That's where home is. And for some people, that also coincides with a physical location, a physical building or place. But, you know, that comfort and security can also exist within you, Okay, so this could even be like feeling at home within your own body, feeling at home within your identity. Okay, so good luck and good fortune are coming there. There's going to be this big boost to your confidence, your self-esteem, okay, that will then help you feel more safe, more secure, more comfortable um, in yourself. So that's a very special sort of tangent and sort of deeper layer here with this fourth out fourth house energy that came through from spirit now let's get some tarot cards here and find out more okay about what area of life you are going to have good luck and good fortune in soon i'm also hearing that a special message for some of you that are have been looking for a new place to live you are really going to luck out here okay you're going to luck out because you are going to find this amazing listing this amazing um ad for a beautiful home that you've been looking for, whether that's an actual home, apartment, condo, studio. Um, and you may even be getting a really good deal on it too, like getting it for a good price. And um, an another thing that I'm getting, which is interesting, I feel like this is very specific to a small group of you, is that if some of you have been hoping to reconnect with family, like maybe some of you, um, your family has been missing, right? Like um, some people that I'm thinking of particularly is like Korean people when there was that separation between the North and the South. You might be able to connect with a long lost family member. Or maybe if, um, you know, you or your siblings were separated at birth, like because one of you was adopted by one family, another one was adopted by another family, something like that, right? You and a sibling have been separated under some circumstance. You're going to reunite here. Um, and, um, oh, sorry, another country too, I think it was like Cambodia, like the um, Khmer Rouge. Um, when that happened in Cambodia, I believe there was like a lot of families that were separated um, so something very similar to that, um, there's going to be good luck and good fortune in reuniting. I know too, with like the war, um, some people have gotten separated as well, um, when that happens in a country or a region. So there's going to be this opportunity to reunite. 
And for your tarot, to give us more information here, we have the Eight of Swords, Death, don't get freaked out about that card. I'm going to explain it soon. <laughs> and Seven of Wands. Nine of Cups. Oh, this is an excellent card to um, find in this kind of reading. Because this is the card of wishes. Ooh, Judgment. Yes. Seven of Swords. And five of swords. So, wow, you have a lot of swords energy that came through in your reading. So, definitely there's a lot that has been going on in your mind here. And a lot of those worries and fears will be alleviated. And what I'm hearing is that maybe some of you, like you haven't been sleeping well or you've been having some very bad dreams. Or maybe you've just simply been really worried about what the future holds for you, okay? That um, you're afraid here of being trapped. You're afraid of feeling lost, okay? You're afraid of being lied to, cheated on, betrayed, stolen from. You're afraid of being um, tricked. You're afraid of the unknown here, of not knowing, you're afraid that maybe you're not seeing or hearing the full truth, okay? And that um, that either you just don't have all the information because it's not available, or even that someone could be withholding the full information and all the facts from you, okay? And so the reason why I told you not to worry about the death card is because all of this stuff is not true, okay? All of these things are going to be transformed to the complete opposite. You're going to find the way through. You're going to have that clarity. You're going to have the answers, the facts, the information that you seek. You're going to see the truth, okay? You're going to be able to spot the people that are like total bad vibes, bad juju, and you're going to be able to keep your distance, okay? So this is all um, transforming. And with the death card, all of these will be released. All of these will... Um, pass on, if you will, okay? Like all of them will prove to be a non-issue here. Why? Because we have judgment, okay? This is a reckoning. This is like um, sort of things being drawn to their conclusion, okay? The search is over for this home. The search is over for family. The search is over for finding that comfort and confidence within yourself, that high sense sense of self-esteem. So all of that is over. All the work and effort you've put in now is going to be the time to reap those rewards because now it's the time for the reckoning. Okay, so it's kind of like, you know, in a tournament where um, it's not like um, like an elimination tournament where it's just like you just play, 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 and then whoever gets the most points wins kinds of thing. It's like that, okay? So all the points and all the credits are being tallied here, and that's why you're going to have this good luck and good fortune because you've done all the right things leading up to this point. So now you can claim the prize. Now you can claim the blessing. Now your wish will be granted Okay, like you didn't give up on your dreams for a new home, connecting with your loved ones um, and improving yourself and building up your confidence. Um, you didn't give up on that. You worked hard. And I'm hearing that the sickle is like, yeah, you've worked hard. You've done the hard work. Now you can reap what you've sown. Finally, it's that time. Um, and all now with the seven of wands, it's also letting me know that you have come across a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of setbacks in your search here um, on this journey. And it's not, um, it wasn't for nothing. Okay, that now is going to be that time where you're finally going to see the results of all your efforts and all your hard work. Oh, how beautiful. I love that. So it's like you've been waiting for this for so long and now it's going to all work out beautifully. It's going to pan out here. Okay. Um, 
Oh, you know what came through just now too? So home, this can also be um, speaking a bit to your ancestry, to your family. And so maybe there's been some issue with um, finances with the family. Maybe there's been some issue with like a will with the family if someone recently passed away. Um, I'm also hearing for some people like inheritance even. Um, I'm also hearing like health problems with a family member and a loved one. Um, so all of that is coming to a close. All of it is coming um, to its end and everything's going to work out just fine. So you can let go of all those worries and fears that you had about it all before. Okay. Oh, amazing. Amazing. So let's pull out a divine feather here for a final message from spirit about this luck and good fortune that is coming your way. So you have this feather here, which comes from the pheasant. The time is right for creation and connection. Focus your attention in these areas, okay? So connection, connecting with yourself, connecting with a home, a place to live, connecting with family members. The time is ripe. Yes, so so happy for this. I'm feeling really excited for a lot of you because I feel like the journey has been so long. That's what I'm feeling. And it's sort of like that your hope can be reignited here because everything's going to work out beautifully. So thank you so much for joining. That was your reading. Thank you for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Don't forget to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today so that you can begin that manifestation pathway for it to become a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel. Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation if you want to go beyond a general tarot reading, specifically if you want to learn how to align with your purpose and how to achieve your goals. So if you go to the description box down below now, you will see a link there to book an energy alignment session with me. And on that call, we will both come up with a personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. So I look forward to connecting with you in your energy alignment session. But until next time, love sending you so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye. Hey there, star fam. Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. <laughs> and today we are going to be taking a look at what area of life will you have good luck and fortune in very, very soon. And for those of you that were drawn to the Ragwort card here, welcome to your reading. Let me know who you are in the comments down below. And also, I'd like to know who is your favorite musical artist at the moment, okay? Because at the moment, mine is Beyonce. Um, while I'm recording this, this reading. Uh, she is getting ready to release another album. It's been a long time since she released her last album. So I'm really excited to hear what that sounds like. So let's get on to your reading, shall we? So those of you that were drawn to this ragwort, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull um, one of these star code astro cards here that has one of the 12 astral houses in here. And we're going to find out which area of life specifically you're going to experience good luck and fortune in very, very soon. And spirit says it is going to be in the seventh house. Ooh, the house of relationships. Okay, so first and foremost, naturally, I'm sensing that this has to do with primarily romance. Okay, so um, romance for many of you, you're going to perhaps become official with someone you've been dating or you're going to have good luck and meet the person that um, is going to be your perfect match. You're like soulmate, 12 twin flame, future spouse kind of situation. For those of you that have already met that person, um, like this definitely can speak to an engagement or some level of commitment, like moving in together, for example, okay? Um, for others of you, um, I'm thinking less the majority, but for a good portion of you, this has to do with some other sort of personal relationship, okay? Like a friendship, um, 
co-workership, all right? Maybe there's been some challenges there, some misunderstandings, and that's all going to turn around. You're going to experience harmony once again in these relationships where before it was sort of a bit of discord, maybe a little bit of chaos, again, stemming from these misunderstandings, maybe you had a disagreement even that led to a bit of a fight um, and uh, like separation or giving each other space kind of thing. So that's, you're going to get good luck. The There's going to be this opportunity now for the both of you to come together in peace and be able to hear each other out. And honestly, after having gone through this sort of fight slash disagreement, your relationship is going to come out a lot stronger, okay? Now, I don't feel this as strongly for most of you, but this could be like a family relationship. I'm sensing more like the top here is love and romance, that kind of relationship. Secondarily, there's going to be, for some of you, more like friendship, co-workership, and then lower down is going to be like some sort of familial thing, all right? So take which resonates with you and hold on to that and you can just kind of set the other types of relationships aside. But I'm really excited to learn more about some of this romance energy for some of you. My gosh, because I just love a good romantic connection kind of story here. <laughs> so let's find out more information or spirit about this area of life you're going to experience that good luck and fortune in very, very soon here. Okay, so um, I'm hearing one more shuffle and we will be good to go. Okay, so we have, ooh, Ace of Coins. Okay, so like a new beginning. And what I'm hearing for some of you too, this coins actually represents like a wedding ring. Okay, an engagement ring. Two of Swords. Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups. Uh, oh, I think I need to scoop these over. Don't know if we're going to have enough room for two more. There we go. The Two of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I definitely see with this um, Seven of Wands here that yes, um, for some of you, there definitely was a little bit of fighting here, a little bit of disagreement happening um, in this relationship, and that is going to be coming to an end. What's interesting is we have this Two of Swords and this Two of Wands here kind of mirroring each other um, on either side of this row. Of cards. And what I'm seeing here is that, you know, you were at a point um, in this relationship where you're like, okay, what's going on here? Like, I'm confused or it's very unclear to me. Like, are we together? Are we not? Are we friends? Are we not? Are we um, enemies? Are we not? Uh, right? Like, there was this sort of period of maybe limbo for you where it's like, I don't know what's happening here. Maybe some of you, like, you don't even know why you're fighting. <laughs> you don't even know what the big deal was anymore because you've had that time to sort of cool off and you're like, my gosh, what were we truly even fighting about at that point? Because looking back on it, it doesn't seem as big of an issue as I made it out to be at that time, okay? Um, and for some of you, when it comes to this romantic relationship, you are kind of wondering, like, okay, is this going anywhere? Like, um, I feel like, yeah, we spent a lot of time together. We're in a good space now. And I'd like to take it to the next level. But it's like, are you on board? Is that kind of your you know flow right now your vibe right now okay um and you've been dreaming about this you've been wondering about this you've been thinking about this a lot and spirit is saying yes it's time to take it to the next level time to take this relationship to the next step again whether for some of you it's engagement for some of you this could be keys to the apartment right or maybe you guys are moving in together um so you're sharing the same key versus they're giving you a copy of their key to their place kind of thing right um 
So it's all about taking everything to the next level here. So good luck, good fortune. This relationship is not going away anytime soon. In fact, it's just being strengthened. It's just being nurtured here. All right. Now with the two court cards with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups, what am I seeing here? Okay. So I'm definitely seeing just from the sort of the the status or the standing of the cards, the knight is higher ranking, if you will, than the page. So definitely there's been this sort of dynamic at the time where it's like one person's ready to move forward and this other person is kind of lingering and then they're going to eventually catch up. And it's like this. It doesn't seem like you're moving forward at the exact same time and feeling in the exact same position and mindset as each other um, at the same exact moment. There's just sort of like catch up kind of thing happening with one party or maybe you guys take turns like this person is ready to take the next step you're lingering and then you catch up and then you're ready to take the next step and now they're the one hesitating and now you, they catch up so there's that sort of back and forth um slinky kind of movements I'm getting <laughs> where you guys are bouncing around before you get to find each other on the same level again what I'm also hearing is that um there's this energy of moving forward with what you feel, okay, and taking action here um, on, on what you're feeling. So again, this person could be like, hey, I'm feeling like I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm ready to take our relationship to the next step. And so I'm going to propose. And so I'm going to give you a copy of my key. And so I'm going to suggest we move in together. Okay. Or, hey, I'm feeling like um, we don't need to be fighting or disagreeing anymore. I feel like we are better as allies, as friends. So let me extend this olive branch. Let me extend this peace offering. Let me be the first one to apologize for what happened between us. Okay. So there's that type of energy coming through as well. Now let's get a final message here from the Divine Feather deck for what area of life you're going to have good luck in. Let's see which feather comes out to provide this final message for you. Oh my gosh, you got two feathers. And it looks like they both come from um, mostly white birds. I guess this dove is like a little bit, you know, brown, <laughs> darker toned. I'm not like the doves you see that are like released in... Um, weddings. So you got the dove, this feather here, and you also got the white swan. So the dove says, feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality. So the key thing here is feel, as we were talking about with a page of cups. So feel into the situation, feel into what's best, 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 <laughs> what's most aligned and what feels good, what feels right. Okay. What brings that peace to your life? And with the white swan, it says the power of divine grace is within you. So definitely for some of you that have been experiencing conflict in a friendship or um, a co-workership type situation, um, having that grace energy within you to kind of let all this, you know, um, combative, argumentative energy go especially you know if this is a situation where it's like someone is trying to be stubborn because they believe they're right that they're in the right and the other party is in the wrong okay so being able to let some of that energy go and really um, get to the heart of the issue it was like hey you guys are friends for a reason you guys worked really well together for a reason so coming back to that space is going to be so much easier and it's going to give you really good results um, should you embrace love okay rather than fear or anxiety so embrace that love embrace that compassion and that humanity and that beautiful soul that exists within each and every one of us so this was so cool so much fun to do this reading for you and that is the area of life where you're going to have good luck and fortune soon Thank you for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Don't forget to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today so that you can begin that manifestation pathway for it to become a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel. 
Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation if you want to go beyond a general tarot reading, specifically if you want to learn how to align with your purpose and how to achieve your goals. So if you go to the description box down below now, you will see a link there to book an energy alignment session with me. And on that call, we will both come up with a personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. So I look forward to connecting with you in your energy alignment session. But until next time, loves sending you so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye.